Hey everyone, my name is Tom Nuki, and welcome to almost of my hero, One Piece. Um, ep ep not episode, chapter nine hundred and forty-three. This one is called Smile. So uh, yeah, I got a smile on my face because we are back from the break. Thank God, uh, that was torturous after what happened last week. Rip Yasu. Um, people were saying that was like a 5 out of 10 chapter, 6 out of 10 chapter. Stop. That was like, literally, top 3 Wano chapter. People saying Wano's trash, get the fuck out of here. Um, I'm tired of seeing that. Um, let's see a very nice cover page request from for Robin. I love it. Um, even though Robin is not the best girl in One Piece, she is top 5. Yeah, probably. Uh, don't come at me, Robin fans. Cole, I see you. Uh, <laughs> but let's get started um, with uh, the chapter. It's called Smile. So, like I said before, and what happened last week, we, we heard that Kaido and Orochi had brought back Smile Fruits, but we don't know, like, any context of that. Um, I heard something about, like, in the water? Uh... There was a lot of theories going around. But, uh... That was, like, the first week of the coming out, so I, I didn't keep up with it. But let's get into it. One out country, Hakumai. Why were you trying to steal so much money? Because Sir Odin needed money. If you were going to execute us, then get over it over with already, you hedgehog. That damn Odin. He sure recruited some odd characters. Oh, and, and you see, uh, Shutenmaru. Uh, let me see if I can... Alright, there's... There's Inurashi. Where, where's Nekomamushi? Uh... Is that Nekomamushi all the way on the left? Probably. Actually. What's his name? The, uh... The Kappa. Is, is he in here? He's probably in the, all the way in the back. Um, I will give you the money you tried to steal. Huh? What? Oh, wait, Lord Yasui. If you do that, then Hakamai will run out of... Take this too. Use it wisely. Even more? Are you being serious? Is something wrong with you? Is this some sort of trap? Do you like Odin? Of course, we all owe him a great debt. If what you say is true, then use this money to start over anew. Learn some manners and buy some books. Fill yourselves with knowledge and wisdom. If hoodlum, hoodlums like you were to become the retainers of Odin, as you are right now, you would just bring shame to his name. Okay, so he basically said... Learn about Wano and everything, and then come back. Um, but use this money to do it. <laughs> he will one day be the shogun of the Wano country, and the people who will support him through it all must be the best samurai in the entire country. Have we seen that guy on the uh, the right panel, like the very small right panel? Oh my god, Yasu is actually... Oh wait, that's Kinemon back then. Holy shit. I didn't notice that until I saw the next panel. But A servant's duty is to protect their master. All of you must make yourselves the capitals. No. The entire country's guardians understood. And those words mean millions now. Because Yasu was probably the biggest guardian of them all, protecting not just one country, but the alliance, um, which is big. Just and you see, Raizo, uh, Inurashi, Shutsumaru, um, and then the Kappa, which I forget, I can't remember his name off the top of my head. Oh, and then, uh, 
the painting guy. I always forget his name. The flower capital. Right, that's Sioux District Prison. Yasu is dead. I, I can't believe Yasu died. I, it, it's still crazy to me. Hey, throw the citizen of the Besu town out of here. What's wrong with them? They're so creepy. Tony Yasu. Get out of the capital. Oh, and they're still laughing. Get out of the capital, you low life scum. No way. I refuse to leave this place. And they're just laughing about it. Why are they laughing at your Yasui's death? Daddy and she's like laughing and crying at the same time. This is Shogun Orochi's most heinous crime. Is Zora saying that? <laughs> is Zora saying that Zora's definitely gonna kill him? Because I was thinking about making a Zora versus Orochi video, but. I felt like the fight would not be a whole chapter. I felt like it would be a chapter and a half or two chapters. So I didn't want to do it just yet. Um, but who knows? Maybe I'll make it this week. Daddy. Foo, foo, foo. He has brought misery to all these people and will not even allow them to grieve. What is this place? If not hell itself. Tell me, Sir Zorajiro. And he was just crying. I thought smiles were just artificial devil fruits. Yeah, we all did. <laughs> we all did until Oda pulled a fast one. Mia. Yeah. <laughs> what a fitting end for you, Yasui. Oh, fuck you, Orochi. How audacious of you to have lived all this time in my Wano country. That was very rude of you, you hedgehog. No. You sewer rat, and Zoro just has that look in his eye. Yes, everyone. Send them off to the afterlife with your laughter. This is the Wano country. The bright and cheerful Wano country. One might even mistake it as heaven here. Damn it, Tony Asu was killed. We didn't make it in time. Is that Frankie? Yeah, that, that's Frank. I can tell from the hair. Um, that's definitely Frankie. Um, definitely Usopp. Uh, because the hair in the back. I can't tell who those two are. Maybe one of them is Nami? Oh, probably Nami and, uh, Shinobu. We didn't make it in time. Lord Yasui. For us to not notice what he was up until he was crucified and put on display. This is the blunder worthy of death. What's up with these people? Isn't it strange? Yeah, and they're just like laughing. The people of Ibasu Town who were also attached to him are Oh it was Robin and and uh Nami, okay. Oh, is that Wanji in the back? All right. <laughs> Wanji voice? All right. Wait a minute. <sighs> Show fucking page one, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> Udon prisoner minds. Look, those people are all crazy. They're laughing at the executioner of a former daimyo. Orochi is ruthless. And <laughs> Queen's just like, probably rhyming right now like when in the anime we're gonna see like queen singing when this happens or now because there's no musical notes but or do you do think that you survived this long and yeah Hio knew him there's a reason isn't there it doesn't matter who he was nobody should laugh when someone dies yeah it is probably the side effect of a smile. Oh. Is what we're going to find out? <laughs> there are people like that here too. People who cannot do anything but laugh. So our plan was exposed. That is why you. Or Yasu. Kaido? What? Oh shit. Oh boy. Onigashima. 
You sure got poor taste, Orochi. Hirodododo. <laughs> hey, Inarashi, Kinemon. Do you know about the smiles? We should have explained this all to you earlier. The smiles of those who live in Yubetsu Town are just a mask. Those smiles are nothing more than a mask that they cannot take off for the rest of their lives. Several years ago, Kaido and Orochi started the trade. Alright, yeah, and this is Punk Hazard. The weapons made in this country for a certain man-made fruit. And Sanji kind of put two and two together. Upon eating the fruit, in exchange for their ability to swim, they will be granted the ferocious power of animals. It is a terrifying fruit. Yeah, so smile. Zone types. Artificial fruits, you mean from the factory that we destroyed? Yes, Kinemon told me about that. Kaido's goal is to use that fruit to strengthen his forces and make them monsters. In order to have the strongest pirate crew in the world. Kaido Kulei. <laughs> but of course, there is always a risk when it comes to things that sound too good to be true. Successful rate of an artificial enhancement is. Hold on, what? If 10 people were to eat a fruit, eat the fruit, only one person would obtain the pat. What? That's. That's actually garbage. <laughs> that means seeds are never found a surefire way to make. Zone types. That is terrible. <laughs> the nine who ate the faulty fruits receive only the side effects. On top of being unable to swim. Okay. So that's zone effects. Due to the incomplete formula as a side effect, they also lose their ability to become sad or angry. They can only smile and laugh. Yeah, that's really fucked. Kaido's beast pirates are split into three main forces. Headliners are probably one of them. Ones you have, the ones who have yet to eat a fruit. They wait for their chance to become beasts. The waiters, okay. So the ones on standby, basically. Then there are the powerful 10% that have been bestowed power of beasts they're known as the gifters oh, that makes so much sense now because they're fucking gifted they have the 10 percent oda you fucking cheeky bastard i have my volume off right yeah lastly there are the unfortunate ones who ate the faulty fruits, the laughing warriors, the pleasurers. Wait, Dofi? Oh shit, are we gonna... Dofi went to Wano? Oh shit. I hope we get a flashback of that. Um, and as if to mock those unfortunate souls, they named the fruit after its effect smiles, yeah. I always thought it was a weird name for a devil fruit, but I never knew its true meaning. That's only the tip of the iceberg. Jesus. Oda, what have you done? Orochi set his eyes on the faulty fruits. After all, the fruits were once bitten into once. Or, one, or only bitten into once. Although they were failures, they still retained the side effects afterwards. Which allowed for the creation of more pleasures. Yeah, it makes sense. You only need to eat a devil fruit once to gain the power. You mean. Deaths were a daily occurrence in the capital's leftovers town. Leftover town. And thus, so were the tears and grief. Orochi, who found all of this very unpleasant, started mixing the faulty smiles into the capital's leftovers of...
Jesus Christ. Wait, didn't we? No, I'm I'm overthinking things. Um now but yeah, I think someone theorized that, so props to them. Um, this is an apple. Wow, it's still fresh. We found a whole bunch of them. What the sugar one, everyone? Here, feed these to the sick. Yay, it's a delicious apple. After eating just a few of them, anybody would be able to figure it out, the true nature of those fruits. But in the end, the people of that leftover town could not win against their empty stomachs. It's the true nature of those fruits. A cheerful town of frowns do not exist. That was how a best town came to be. And now Sanji and the others are hearing this, but now we're seeing uh, Brooke and Zoro's perspective of hearing this as well. From a glance, everyone looks happy, but in reality, this is a tragic town where one cannot show sadness even if even if their family dies. So please do not blame those laughing people. Oh, and Tokusun, she's right next to the Yasu. <sighs> Your luck will run out if you do not smile. If we did not laugh, it would just be a waste, a massive waste. Hey, stop it, young lady. Get back behind the fence. Daddy, I bought you a really good medicine. <laughs> Togo, she slipped through the fence. Bring her back immediately. Stop, Togo. Come back right here right now. All right. Now, obviously, she's in front of all the guards. And, uh... I mean, if there was that one person that was starting her on the bridge, there's probably a lot more. Um, hey, that's the kid who came to eat sober earlier. <laughs> Otoko, now that you mention it, that kid, she's Tony Asha's daughter. So Usopp put the pieces together. Right? Nani? <laughs> please, Togo, please come back here. You will be seen by. Oh, shit. That's true. I didn't think about that. I wrote she's going to go after her. Get out of the way. <laughs> Please wake up, Daddy. This medicine will cure all your wounds. It's called toad oil. And, oh, no. And Usopp's going <laughs> to... I mean, Usopp sold that. Otoko, I'm so sorry. <laughs> that medicine's not... I found you, damn brat. I see, so, so you were Yasi's daughter. No wonder you were so insolent. If you had not laughed so foolishly back then, come where I saw you would still be alive, you little rat. I hate Orochi so much now. I, I can't stand them. Both of you, parent and child, anger me to no end. Run, Otoko, please do not let yourself die too. <laughs> please get better, Daddy. You shall be executed. I see Zoro's sword. And that's Wanji. Okay. That's definitely Wanji. That man. He's the one man. The Magistrate Killer. Nani. And that guy. He's the Soba Shop owner. That disrespect the Kyoshiro family. Huh. <laughs> Wait. Drake Hawkins versus Zoro Drake? Oh shit. Oh no. This is not happening, is it? There is Zoro in Sangoro. Now. Nani. <laughs> yeah, they just look like each other. Now. Obviously, Zoro and Sanji aren't going to team up and fight them. It's going to be Zoro versus Sanji. <laughs> it's literally how it's going to go. Um, but what a great chapter. Um, four to five, just great build up, great. Um, just building up everything. 
a lot of good info them as well. Like we found out what the smile fruits. I would have delivered honestly. Um, if you say this check not that they're bad. I, I don't. You, you just hate Wano. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. Because Wano has been fantastic so far. Um, I, you can't hate Wano in my opinion. But yeah. Oh, Samurai, it's already out. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, but uh, that's my live reaction. And uh, not, 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 not review. Uh, I'm not really feeling a review today. Haven't done a review in a while. Uh, maybe the discussion this week. Expect one, if anything, around like Monday, Tuesday there. I do it like in the halfway point of the week. Uh, but yeah. Without further ado, my name is Tom Nuki, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye, guys.